All right, guys, what's up? I'm up here at the garage. Came up here just to look at some stuff, and I got to grab a couple things. I said I got to take back my uh, photo equipment because I'm putting that back at the house where I probably should have set it up at anyway. Plus, I need my mannequins, um, you know, for taking pictures. But I just wanted to show you guys some of this stuff from this Home Depot palettes I got. All right, so this was from one of the palettes that had the larger stuff on it. This palette I won in the auction. I think it was 285 Got a Husky uh, nail gun. What is that? Pneumatic flooring nail stapler. There was a one gallon silent air compressor. I got this blower. Didn't have the battery with it. So I'm, I am going to have to test it. It looks new. Don't look used, but still got to test it. But as long as that worked, that's good. I just got to figure out how to do that without spending $100 on the battery. There's some jumper cables and stuff like that. Those are brand new. Uh, tool belt which was used but then there was this uh, rigid um, what you call it a shop vac had the shop vac with some uh, filters and stuff um, what was this this I think is a mailbox stand so that's some of the larger items there was another uh, thing over here this is I think down there I don't know if you can see it it was like a, a car jack and uh there was a few other things um let me see i think this was in the larger palette which is a um what does that say 15 gallon connect job site cart with the handle and a few other things so i should definitely make a good profit off of that like i said I only spent 285 and then all this other stuff came from the other palette there was a crap ton of stuff in there man crap ton and I didn't really think it all through before I bought it. So, like, I had to rent a U-Haul, which cost me about 50 bucks. So, I guess if you put the cost of the U-Haul in with the cost of both pallets, that brings me to about 865 which is still a good deal. Now, with this other pallet, a bunch of the stuff was loose. So, there's going to be some garbage. Um, Like, this box is mostly bull crap. Um, there's going to be some garbage. There's going to be some stuff that I probably can piece together. And then there's just some stuff in there that's whole. But the thing is, I'm going to have to see is the time that's going to be required to get this together and, you know, put everything together, separate the good from the bad, and then the profit potential going to be worth it. So this is an experiment, man. I mean, I did it because, number one, I didn't have to pay shipping. I always wanted to try out a Home Depot pallet. And like I said, this company is a local company. This company is a local company. Um, they got an auction site. And uh, I'm looking at a couple auctions right now, which uh pretty sure I'd have missed the one I really wanted to bid on. But whatever. Um, I got a few auctions I'm looking at on liquidation.com too. But uh regardless, they right they bought 10 minutes away from me, man. You know, as of right now, and I got to rent a U-Haul, which makes it a little bit more difficult for me because when I do get the pallet, of course, there's no I'm not I'm not really gonna rent a truck with a what you call it lift gate you start getting into like the hundred something dollar range and i mean i, I really don't want to do that so i don't mind just getting the u-haul they use the forklift to put it in the u-haul i bring it to where you know to my storage and i just break it down and, 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 and pull it out piece by piece i mean it's a little bit more work but i'm betting that what i'm going to be able to sell from this is going to be worth the work but remains to be seen and i'll let you guys know but um yeah, I mean eight hundred bucks, uh, eight eight sixty, for what I think should make me I should be able to double my money off of this if not better if not better, I still got to go through everything like I said I got to separate everything. Let's see what else we got down here some stuff. We got this water pick, shower head, another shower head Delta. What's this? Some lights. Yeah. This box. These are like, I think like, there was a few of these. I think these are sheets or blankets, something like that. Um, I don't know. Some type of blankets though that was like, they come in like a bag or something. But they actually go for a pretty good penny. So, got some more four pack. LEDs, some saws and stuff down there, a 
Let's see what's over here real quick. This is some of the smaller ones. So this is a battery. I'm gonna have to plug that in and check it and see if it works. I didn't test. It. I really haven't tested anything yet, guys. Or even really going through this. So there was a bunch of these toilet plunger things. Some of them looked like they had all the parts. Some of them looked a little spread out. So I don't know. A lot of the piping and stuff was kind of spread out. I'm not even going. If I if I can't tell what it is or what it go to, I'm not even going to waste my time with it. Um, but if I think I can figure it out and part you know sell it as parts then i'll do that too because i know parts to some of this stuff will still sell for a nice profit i am not sure what this is uh mystery box this looks like a light led desk lamp down here what we got more lights no that's a wagner uh oh like a uh one of them paint sprayers spray guns yeah this is some smaller stuff i think a lot of this though might be yeah these is parts and pieces so some of that might be trash see if i can get around here there's like drill bits and stuff like that so i know these bits to go for a nice there was even like blades that I couldn't tell off that like I said I haven't done deep inspecting yet but I couldn't tell off bad if they had been used like these right here I don't know if these have been used or not I'm gonna have to look look it up and see what a new one looked like but there's a few different type of blades more shower heads yeah Delta little corner shells I know people like stuff like that for their houses not sure what's in that box. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of stuff, man. Too much to go through right now. Let me see if I can get around here. Uh, just look like some, like, metal tubing for wires. This type of stuff will sell on Facebook. A lot of landlords and stuff like that, handymen, they'll buy that type of stuff right there. These, I think, are lawnmower belts, but I'm not sure if they've been used or not. Uh, hands, handheld bitted. Okay, like a sprayer for your toilet. Right? Clean your rear. There's a few different uh, of these staplers. I got a few of these. So those should be some good copies. There's uh, got a bunch of these, too. These um vents for heater. Different sizes, different kinds, but... I'm going to get them all together in one and see if there's like any that's the same that I can sell as a lot. But like I said, stuff like that will sell good locally, I think, because there's a lot of landlords. There's a lot of people who do like just their own home improvements. This box. It's a bunch of miscellaneous items. Some of it probably trash. Some of it not. Just depends. Um, I'll take some of this little stuff like, you know, like this box right here. This is... Uh, light fixture or no, 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 no socket outlets. I got a few few of these. There's a few of these. So I'll collect all them, put them all together. You know, I'll put that stuff in a lot because somebody that's doing home improvements that's working on plus I actually know a guy who has his own like property business. And so he, he, he does renovations and stuff like that on his property. So he might be able to use something like that. More of these toilet handles. There's a few of these in there. I feel like those are sell. Um, yeah, so there's just a bunch of little stuff like that. There's some larger items. These filters haven't been used. The boxes are a little damaged, but they still new. Um, this is a rigid filter. So, yeah. So, you know, yeah. I think I'm going to make some money off this. Well, I don't think. I know I am. And the only question is, what is going to be the amount of time and effort required you know, to do this. I don't think it's going to be a lot. And and I think the most time came this time because <clears throat> I didn't think it through. So my process from picking up the, the pallets to dropping them off here and how I was going to offload them, that could have been better. So I could have saved time there. Um, as it stands right now, I got stuff everywhere, right? So I'm just have to kind of go through here and move stuff around. So that wasn't thought out too well. 
So I think I would, I'm going to go through this palette, get everything done. And they got palettes like this all the time. And if I buy another one, I'm going to have my process mapped out. Like, am I going to rent the U-Haul? What am I going to do once I get here? Am I, I got to make sure I got my boxes or bins or whatever ready. And I make sure I line them up in a way that makes sense. So when I do start going through them, it's easier to go through. But um, I'm going to get some boxes and stuff. And I'm going to just have a box or bag for trash, the stuff that I'm throwing away. I'm going to have a box for like, maybe if it's just... uh. I don't know, outlets or something, they'll all go in there. And just so I can kind of like put things that are the same type and the same thing, and then I can kind of match stuff up. But the first things I'm going to take out are the things that are whole. So the things that are already boxed up, the things that aren't opened and aren't missing anything, take those, put all that stuff to the side, because that's the easiest. And then I, I can just take that stuff and list it wherever I'm going to list it at. And then the other stuff I can kind of, you know, go through it. So we'll see how much time that it's going to take. It's going to take some work, but I'm, I'm betting, I'm betting, and it's a gamble. I'm betting it's going to be worth the time and effort because I looked up a lot of this stuff and a lot of this stuff, even the parts for it, even if it ain't everything, a lot of this stuff, I can still get a nice little dollar for it. So yeah. And, um, but I am coming up here to get all my little photo equipment. I'm taking that back home. And like I said, I'm going to organize my basement to be, I'm going to put my inventory in and build up a new inventory system down there to make it. It's all about processes, man. I do want to shout out Chris at Daily Refinement, and, and, and I like his channel. I watch that channel a lot, and there's a lot of good ideas that they bring up on there, man. And It's all about process, streamlining things, finding ways to save time, to cut access out. Even if it's a few seconds here, a few seconds there, that adds up to minutes, hours, adds up to increasing your hourly rate. So, yeah, but... Yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated on what happened with these pallets. I'm going to get to work, man. I got to get this stuff back home. I still got to go to the post office and do all of that. I should have those video, other videos coming up soon. I got to get to work, man. So listen, if you like this video, why don't you hit that like and subscribe button, man, for me. Um, also, if you want to check out my eBay store, the link's in the description. Follow me on Instagram. Right now, I still didn't change the name of the channel. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out, man. I, I mean, I know it's taking a while, but I want it to be right, you know? I don't want it to be too specific, but I don't want it to be too general. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but we'll see. But uh, yeah, I'll get back with you guys soon. Peace.